Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Mystic Arc. Uh, a game pretty much from the same... It's often considered a spiritual sequel to Seventh Saga. And it has references to Seventh Saga sprinkled here and there like the Tejujin Lux there. Uh, I'll just go ahead and erase that one. Should have done that before I even started. Alright, so, let's see. First to put the player's name and gender. I'll go with male since we had... Yeah, just leave it as default. After all, it was established in the in the intro that the hero's name was Ramir. Of course, I could have gone gone a different direction if I chose female, but yeah. So it's how uh, the seven people get captured, I guess. Oh, and we get to see that see it again. And no, I am not in control. So, the immediate question is, why were these seven people picked to be captured and turned into figurines, I guess? Ramir, can you hear me? Ramir, can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Come, open your eyes, summon your courage, and stand up. And we are restored. Ramir, I'm surprised and glad that you responded to my calls. You're the first person who has ever been able to reclaim their true form after becoming a figurine. But this is an isolated dimension. It is a holy place that no one can enter no matter how many try. And you have been trapped here in this land. Seek out the hidden doorway. Leave here and return to your own world. Find the world where you belong. And I got a goddess's tear. I have given you the goddess's tear. It is a fragment of my sorrow. When bathed in heat, the tear will harden and transform into a crystal. Seek out the flame. Bathe the goddess's tear in fire to acquire the crystal. And does this count? And you can examine the various figurines. Figure of a soldier covered in strange armor. That's that was the Tejujin. So I Oh, there's a door in there, huh? And apparently there's a use arc feature, which Apparently I can't do anything with that right now. So what other figurines do we have here? Figurine of a cat dressed in clothes and standing on two legs. With some boots, I guess? Man. Uh, well, it's said to bathe it in fire. Will that do it? Oh my. Okay, that works. And you created a door in the south wall. The crystal is my mind's eye. It will prove invaluable to you on your journey. Now proceed to the south and leave the temple. Come to me. Come to the goddess statue. Can I go upstairs first, see what's up here? Uh... You're not gonna let me go in there. Right. 
try and uh, start and select doesn't do anything as of yet. Amir, that statue you can see over there is the goddess statue. Go, talk to it. My voice should be able to reach the goddess statue so I can respond to you. Okay. Ramir, you must leave here and return to your own world. There are many hidden doorways on this island, and beyond those doorways lie many different worlds. If you open each door and search beyond, you will surely find your own world eventually. But in order to do that, you will need the arcs. They are the keys that will open the door to your world. Ramir. Visit the flame inside the temple. The flame in the fireplace will guide you on your journey. And when you have found the first arc, return here to the goddess statue. Okay. So, talk to the fireplace then. You! The person that just threw Goddess's tear into me! The fireplace is speaking to me. Okay, I tell you about door. This island has lots and lots of doors. Sometimes they things, sometimes they spaces. Anyhow, doors take many different forms. You not used to this, so I give you a hint for first door. Ship. There is a ship. Find the ship. Okay. can go in here. Open it if it receives power. Okay. I know my first instinct is probably to go outside to look for the ship, but it might be a figurine of a ship. So might as well see if there's anything around here Nice, handy little ability to have. Aha. And what is this first? Yes, I do want to save. Figurine of a park filled with things like such as jungle chips and sandboxes. On? Okay. The model ship on the table is well made with lots of fine details worked into the frame. Why give me the option if it's not going to do anything? Dang it. The instant you touch the ship, your entire body goes numb and your field of vision turns black. Okay. And now I... I guess we're on the ship. Empty bottle. And I can push things. A rusted key. Money. Bronze blade. Haha. Thing here. Maybe the rusted key. Nope. Eh, it was worth a try. Ah. There we go. Seventh Saga mechanic, where we can see the, the surroundings. We can't... And 
that the fight mechanics are largely the same. Hopefully the game won't be as brutal as Seventh Saga was. doesn't show me where things are, but at least it shows me where the enemies are and how close they get to me. Eh? Haven't seen you around here, Meow. This ship is Captain Alonzo's Bloodhook. Have you come to join our army, Meow? We'd love to have you. Being press ganked by cats. Alright then. Okay, so L is a, is examined. That's good. <laughs> Poses the war. An onion. All right. So. Partially eat meat, okay. And I can't go into the bed. Oh well. Could use a spot of healing after that one fight with the crow. Six pack? Okay. A mission, huh? And there's no examine button for uh, for anything on that, so I don't know I don't know how much they heal for. So uh, I can buy armor and such and such. And you have nothing for me. Alright. Fine. We got treasure there. Lack of weapons, huh? Leather hats? Spare mast? What? Uh, okay, so not much there. Preserve food rather than eat it raw. You should look for another use for it. Okay. Say what? Okay. Wasn't expecting that little function. Okay, that you had just been there. Well, at least the cats seem rather friendly so far. Uh, maybe in a moment. That's not good. So, oh, you're brag. All right. Yeah, I don't want the cat population to drop. That sounds like that sounds like a bad thing. For peace with the gun boss. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, then. Eh, uh, nothing there. Alright, let's take a look at this chess puzzle. Let's take a look here. Use the knight to take all the pieces, but you have to take a piece with every single move. Okay. And I think I already got it. Or at least I thought I did. Ah, yep. There we go. Ice Claw. What is this Ice Claw? Deals ice damage with a huge ice pillar, works against one enemy, so it's... It's not something I can equip. Combat item. Not that. So it feels weird that we're on a ship, but we're kind of stuck on land. Alright. So, from what I read, this game is more puzzle-based than anything else. But we'll see what kind of puzzles this game has in store for me. The spy's name is Pinkhead. I don't really like to get in touch with him, but... I'd really like to get in touch with him, but don't know how. Without information, it's hard for our army to operate. We won't be able to undertake any large operations either. So your first mission is to scout out the area around the gun boss. So, where is the gun boss, I wonder? Which I presume that's another ship. All the way around the crevasse to the northeast. Okay. I worry that I haven't seen a save point yet. Well, where is the captain? I worry that I'm gonna get taken out by the next fight I have. Oh. Chef Bullnich, report to the galley immediately. Okay. So that's the quarry down there. I can't get up there. Yes, I did. Uh, I have no idea what that monster thing is for. So I'm presuming that that other ship uh, right there is the gu is the gunboat. Now it's just a matter of how do I get up there? Is this the way back? Yes, it is the way back. Yes, I do want to save. Ah, 
I'm more worried about having a source of healing besides potions at the moment. Uh... Ah, he was an empty jar, right. You can now use this as a healing item. Uh, how much does it heal me for? Ten. What's my... Uh... Item, but it's not unlimited. Oh dear. Get back, get back. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use it now. And it used up the bottle too. Okay. And... Okay, so... I can use the crystal, but I don't have any locations that I can tra teleport to. At least not yet. And... Oh, dear. At least I know I can win this fight. And I have a little bit more defense than I did before. Yay! Ah, oh, really? So I'm noticing that guarding is not an option, so I can't do that like I could in Seven Saga. How much XP do I need to level up? Will it tell me? Yes, it will, so I have to kill two more of those things. Alright. Deadly amount of damage. Oh dear. What does it mean by almost deadly? That's what it means by almost deadly. Well, I found my free healing. Uh, do I have magic? Not as of yet, no. Fine. But at least I know I can heal. Yay! 
Hey, you missed. Oh dear. Um, let's. Well, what happens when I die? I lost half my money. Okay. Well, that's worrisome, especially since I had I hadn't found a save point that I could actually get to in that other world. He thinks I might need to level up at least once before I venture into a place like that. If, if that first enemy is any indication. So, I guess join me next time when I level up once, maybe twice, and we'll see where that gets me. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.